Hey friend, in this video, I'm gonna teach you the best practices for delivering your Etsy customers the highest possible quality file when you are selling digital products. So if you are working by selling like PNG files, Tumblr wraps, things of that nature that are gonna be in a PNG or even a JPEG format, um, really the PNG is the higher quality if you were wondering that. And what you wanna do is you wanna deliver it in a 300 DPI. And all that means is that it's super high resolution and when your customer uses it, whether it's on something small or they're putting it on something larger, that they will still have a clear, crisp, and beautiful image. So if you are using Canva, you wanna start by having a 5,000 by 5,000 size canvas. Let's go over there and I'll show you the steps. So from Canva, you want to create a new, a new design and you're gonna do a custom size here at the top. Click custom size and it's gonna be 5,000 by 5,000. That's the biggest, like that's a, a really, really high quality and that's what you wanna shoot for for your PNG. So click create new design. And then from here, you can create whatever design you want. I'm gonna pull over some images that I created with Midjourney uh, to sell as PNGs on Etsy. So for example, this adorable little raccoon, and he has this background on it that came with um, that came from the Midjourney. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click background remover. This is something you can only do if you have Canva Pro which I do think is worth the investment because of even just this feature is really helpful, but there's others as well. So now Canva has done its work and removed the blue background. And if we click back here and change the color, we can see that there is no background attached to the raccoon. And that's great. It means that we can export it as a transparent PNG, meaning there is no background on it. Like there won't even be this blue. It's gonna be white. It'll be, it would be like clear. Okay. so. Now that it is here, we're gonna make it nice and big on our canvas, on our 5,000 by 5,000 canvas. Now you probably clicked on this video because you want it to be 300 DPI. And that's what I told you is the highest quality or it's a very high quality that is a, the size file you should be delivering for your digital files. The only problem is that Canva doesn't have the tool to be able to change the DPI in Canva. So the only thing you can do from here is to save it by the 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And then we're gonna import it into another free tool where you can upscale it to a 300 DPI to make sure you have that for your customer. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to share in the upper right hand corner. We're gonna click download. We want it to be a PNG file for that higher quality. We wanna click transparent background so that there's no background and they can put this raccoon onto whatever they want without the white or any other color behind it. We're gonna click download. It's at 5,000 by 5,000, which is perfect. Download, and we're gonna save it to the folder that we wanna work from. So I just went ahead and saved it to my desktop to grab it easily. You can put it in any file that you want. The next thing we're gonna do is go to the free tool, which is clidio.com, C-L-I-D-E-O.com forward slash DPI dash converter. So make sure to grab that and I'll put it also in the, um, in the notes for the video. So now we're gonna choose the file. You're gonna navigate back to where you saved it. Open it. It's gonna take a sec to upload. After it finishes its pre-processing, you're gonna be able to set the new DPI. And so it usually goes standard to the 300 and you can click continue. It's gonna take another minute to actually export and then it will populate your PNG file. It's much bigger now, so it's gonna take a second to load completely. I like to let it load. I don't wanna hit download until it's done loading. So I'm just gonna give it, give it a minute to go ahead and fill out the full picture. I've noticed if I click download early, it'll clip some of it off where, you know, where it didn't get a chance to fully download. Once the full image is there, you can click download and save the new file. I usually will call it the same name that it had before, but I will add, am I spelling that right? I think raccoon has two O's or two C's. Raccoon and I'll do 300 DPI PNG. And that's the name, what I named the file to give to my customer. I'll save that. And then that would be the file that I would upload to Etsy. It's the one that'll be delivered right to your customer after they purchase that they can use and it'll be a really nice high quality.
If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd love to see how I make these adorable and very, very profitable PNGs using Midjourney, I would love to show you. I have an AI workshop for PNGs and Tumblr wraps. That was a mass hit. In fact, I had one gentleman who came to the workshop and within 48 hours, he was making sales off of what he learned. He'd already been running a shop prior to that and it wasn't working out well, but I taught him how to find things that are in demand to create so you know exactly what to create next how to find the right SEO, how to use Midjourney to, to prompt and get exactly the kind of design that you want, and then the entire process of how to create it for uh, to, to sell on Etsy for a semi-passive income. So feel free to check out that workshop, and I'll include in the description a coupon code if you'd like to get a little knocked off because it feels like a good fit for you. Otherwise, my name is Lizzie Smiley, and I host the top-rated How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy podcast. You can find me every Thursday on Apple, Spotify, and right here on YouTube with episodes that will inspire you, teach you all kinds of new things, and bring on success stories so you can hear from other sellers and feel a little less alone in this adventure called entrepreneurship. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope this was helpful.